Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Native Potter Productions, and we're going to finish up working on Good Lovin'. Well, at least hopefully finish up. I have, I have my list, and I also have um, one of the comments down here that I'm going to do that as well. And we are going to start working. Let me turn my... Wi-Fi off on my phone so I don't get interrupted. The uh, apartment complex is a little noisy today. There's lots of traffic and stuff, so hopefully that won't come over onto the microphone. If it does, my apologies. Um, nothing, not much I can do about it. So, well, we're gonna start with our list, and I'm gonna set my timer. Turn it on. And come back over here, and it's ready to go. So, the first thing on my list. Guitar at the front could come up. So we're going to work on that. <clears throat> take this list and work it from the top to the bottom as, as I heard it um, during our critical listening session the last, last week. So um, when I'm looking at this guitar, I have it panned to the left. And I'm wondering if I just have this one panned in the center. So we'll play with that afterwards. But first, we're going to volume automate it. So I'm going to go over here to the trim button and do volume and I'm going to find the point where probably zoom in a little to right about here so I'm going to drag a selection back to the beginning I'm going to turn my snapping back on and I'm going to go here and I'm gonna, I have a shortcut for the uh, <clears throat> adding four points and I use control alt four and it gives me four points to play with I'm trying to remember what the uh, the actual action is to do that I'll um, I'll have to look that up here uh, uh, in a little bit so I'm gonna press come over here and press play that went down too much um maybe I might just do this whole section actually so I'm going to undo it with control Z and then drag this selection all the way to the end over here if I can sneak up on it here and it won't let me guess that's fine zoom back out so I can see the whole section. There we go. I'm going to click on this line, left click on the line, and then control alt four again. And then the mistake I made was to turn the volume up without listening first. So I'm going to listen and then pull the volume up. I might be still too a little too loud. Maybe I'll just go with plus three if I can get it there. Well, let's check it here. I can live with that. Um, let me see something here. There's no other guitars except for those two right there. Let's see some. I'm just checking something real quick.
Okay, what I was hearing was in this, I think it was in this guitar track. I was hearing a higher harmony, so I may want to pull that down out of this one a little bit. Where did that start? Right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna turn the snapping off so I can set a point. on that line and then an, well I'm holding shift and it turns into the up arrow and then left click so I'm going to turn that part down a little so let's see if I messed it up far did I pull that down? No. Hmm. I'm going to turn these other two up. Now I can make a decision where if I just, I don't want to volume automate them, I can slice them and then uh, gain stage them. You can definitely do that. So we'll put the snap back on here and then I'm gonna do that to both of these tracks and then little further away because I'm not sure where the decay on the guitar is. So I'm going to turn this up about 1.34. Oops, there we go. Let's see how that goes. It just sounds a little unnatural, so maybe let me uh, turn that back up just a smidge. We'll listen from over here. Might want to just volume automate these two up. So. Do a volume on that, and then another trim volume on that one. Let's see, where do I want to turn them up? Where I want to turn those up where I turned this one down at. So I'm going to highlight this section. Scroll over here. I'll just do it a little further. Okay. Uh, control Alt 4 at four points. Left click Control Alt 4. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drag them up about one. And then give a listen. Press escape to get that time selection out of the way. Then I'm going to listen to this section again just to make sure. And this is nice. Get that out the way. <laughs> ah, gotta love the YouTube notifications. Um, I'm a little busy at the moment. I'll get to you later. So I'm going to start over here and press play and critically listen. live with that and I'll just check off these first two things off my list the intro guitar and then the guitars after the intro 
Now I'm going to go down <clears throat> and check the volume and panning on the background vocals. Get to that section. Let's see. Okay, it was this at? That's 12, 12, 21, 21. Maybe I want them a little further. That's at 30. Let's just listen. There's just so many background vocals. Might want to play with just the, yeah, I didn't mess with any of the individual volumes on there, just on the background vocal bus. So I'm going to pull it up a little. Okay, let me see. Might not have them panned far enough away. All right, these uh, ones that are in the center, I need to move those just to get them out of the way. Because those are the center ones. So I'm, I'm going to move them up to the top. So I can just focus on the ones that are during the chorus uh, or in the other things. All right, is that all there is? Put those back there. Okay. Let's see. So that's 12, 12, 21, 1, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60. I'm thinking of just starting like I'm gonna start with uh, 20 do the control click trick so 20 20 we'll go 30 oops going the wrong way 30 Oh, that's hilarious. All right, hang on here. I got confused. Um, 20, 20, 30, 30. I'm going to go 40. Forty. It's really noisy upstairs, so hopefully none of that's going over the microphone. Fifty. Sixty. Where was I? Sixty. Sixty. And then seventy. Seventy. Okay. I will listen again. Back up the playhead real quick. So now they surround the vocals a little more and not so like <clears throat> bright, right too close. So I just move them out a little further on each of them. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to mark that off. Volume in the panning. Let's see. Bass and the kick drum. I will come back to the bass and the kick drum. That might need a little, a little more time than what I have here. I've got <laughs> five minutes left on my timer. So I'm going to... Go back up to the guitar solo. And 
in the center somewhere. I think it's these. Let me double check. And it is. So I'm going to put a volume trim on that and uh, one on the one underneath. Then I'm going to drag a selection box. I always tend to drag them further away just in case I don't want uh, any of the decay to get cut off and it just sounds uh, weird. So I'm going to go ahead and do my left click on the line, control alt four on both. I just wish there was a way I could like do them both at the same time. Um, I'm sure if I, I, I could have bust them, but I, I, I haven't really worked too much with um, buses in, in buses and I might, I don't want to screw up the routing. So I'm doing it the long and hard way. So I'm going to press play. Excuse me. Not entirely happy with that tone. I think I'm going to pan these to the center because they're full left and right, and oh no, not they're 90% left and right. So I'm just going to put them in the center, and then I'm going to check out the EQ. I may not let me uh, disable the mid one on both, and if I go over my time, I go over my time. So I'm going to listen again before. not entirely happy with that guitar tone. This is what we do. We've we figure this out. Let's see. Excuse me, fiddling with that. I got two minutes on my timer. I'm going ahead and uh, <clears throat> muted the second one because I don't think I need it. So you know, we're going to play it in the context of the track and I'm going to in the next one continue working on this one where I'm going to add like a, a add the uh, reverb to it. So let's listen. <laughs> Or did I already add a reverb to this? Let me double check. Nope, I didn't. It just has a lot of room on it. So I'm going to, in the next video, we're going to stop here. I'm going to save my work. <clears throat> and I'm going to write down 
on my list here. Pick up for next video. Because if I don't write it down now, I will forget. And that's all for this mixing episode. I think it's number 12. Now, um, I don't know what to say now. Ha! Um, so we're going to continue working on it in the uh, next video. I don't remember what I did seeing the timer run down over here. I don't remember what it does, if I did anything. One. Oh, well, that's hilarious. It's supposed to say done, but it's all little. So I'm going to hide my timer now. If Get back over here. Anyway, what would you have done differently? Would you have done the same thing, or would you have added other little elements to that? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.